Hey everybody, in this reading we'll be looking at things uh, that didn't come through in my other readings for whatever reason. Um, and these things could be about love, work, friendship, trips, whatever comes up. I'll do a couple of spreads and maybe um, additional clarification or outcome spreads if necessary. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Here's the first um, lost message for you, Aquarius. We have Death, <laughs> clarified by the Nine of Cups. We have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the King of Swords. Um, then we have the Queen of Swords, clarified by the Six of Wands. And we also have the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or another Aquarius. We also have Scorpio on the table. Well, something is coming to an end. And uh, I think it's good news <laughs> for you. Just for the reading's sake, um, Aquarius, I assume you're the Queen of Swords and the person you're dealing with is the King of Swords. But you can assign the roles as you, uh, as you wish. Okay, so I assume you're the Queen of Swords. We start with Death, clarified by the Nine of Cups. That could be a Scorpio you're dealing with, but that is something coming to an end. Something is done. And uh, I assume this is what this King of Swords is finishing up. For some of you, they could be graduating from um, a university and now they're back, they're coming back, they want to come see you or they're just back in town. For others of you, this King of Swords could be, um, if they're employed, if they went on a, like, a long business trip or if they, they had to relocate for work, they could be coming back. Perhaps their assignment is over, they're coming back. Okay, um, maybe <clears throat> this person went traveling and now they're back, they're coming back. Or maybe this person was in a relationship with somebody else or they were married to someone else and that relationship or marriage could be coming to an end, right? The, the death card is clarified by the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a card of a satisfaction and fulfillment. Okay, it's also a card of a wish come true. And uh, I think that's how you will feel about this. Uh, you will definitely feel good about it because as I was clarifying the Queen of Swords, I simply asked how will Aquarius feel about this and that 601 show. <laughs> it is a card of victory. It is a card of attention. It is a card of feeling good about yourself or feeling good about what's going on. Right? The Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of uh, soulmate connection, but it's also a card of somebody coming back from the past. In the middle we have that King of Swords clarifying the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a card of travel or communication or both. Alright, so I think you'll be glad to see this King of Swords showing back up. Because something is done. Something is over with and, uh, and now they're coming back. Okay, um, let's take a look at the uh, potential between you and this person real quick. So here's the potential Aquarius between uh, you and the uh, who is most likely a fellow air sign. <laughs> right, we've got the Ace of Cups, the Will of Fortune, the Chariot, and the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, I like this. The Page of Cups is an invitation or reaching out. It could be them reaching out to you. Maybe you guys can go travel together. All right, because both the Will of Fortune and the Chariot could be a cards of travel. We did see that 801s in the first spread, right? That one, that card could also be a card of travel and so can be the Chariot and the Will of Fortune. So perhaps this person is coming back and maybe now you two can go somewhere together. Or those two cards are talking about you guys moving forward. You moving forward. Right? The, the Wheel of Fortune is the start of a cycle. Um, a very fortunate cycle, hence the word fortune in its name. The Chariot um, is a card of moving forward and not looking back. Right? Perhaps things will pick up uh, where maybe you two will pick up where you two left off for some of you. Right, and uh, the chariot, maybe it's a card of moving in together. Right, the Ace of Cups, the first card I came out, this is what it's all about. There's definitely love with that Ace of Cups. It's true, genuine, authentic love. That's what that Ace of Cups is. Yeah, looks good, looks promising. You know, I did not even want to mess with it. I often clarify at least one card, but this time it's just, it's just good. It's just good. The Ace of Cups is here and two major arcana cards in the Page of Cups. Right? <laughs> yeah. This is it, Aquarius. This looks awesome. If you guys go somewhere, maybe you can get to know each other and get cl closer and closer and closer. Right? But this looks very promising. Let's take a look at another lost message for you real quick. Here's another uh, lost message for you, Aquarius. We have the King of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Four of Cups, and we also have the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign. 
Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. So now we got this King of Cups, who is most likely a water sign. Uh, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces or somebody with a lot of water in their chart. And you guys are either going your separate ways, or if this person tries to bury the hatchet with you, I don't see you looking forward to it. Quite the opposite. I think you're going to be like, you know what? No. Thanks, but no thanks. Alright? That's how it feels. You're either going your separate ways um, or not wanting to deal with this person ever again. <laughs> okay? Because uh, the Two of Swords right next to the King of Cups could be interpreted a couple of different ways. It could be a card of like somebody who is, remains closed off, somebody who says no. But at the same time, the Two of Swords could be a card of an armistice or seize fire. All right? And uh, the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck uh, is a card of like an ugly breakup or just going your separate ways. It's never pretty with the Five of Swords. And it is a card of a fight. By the way, this doesn't have to be about love. It could be about friendship. This person could be a family member or somebody you work with or do business with. But uh, you guys are no more. No more. There's no no more. <laughs> Right, the Nine of Pentacles clarified by the Four of Cups, I think this is where you come in. The Nine of Pentacles is a single person card, but at the same time, it's also a card of somebody who is, who would rather be by themselves, or somebody who is glowing up, somebody who is in the center of attention, somebody who is doing very well financially. Okay, perhaps that's why this person is tr maybe trying to bury the hatchet with you with that Two of Swords. Maybe they want to talk to you, they may, maybe they want to talk peace terms with you. Right, but uh, the Four of Cups, I find the Nine of Pentacles, this is you like, uh uh, nope, nope, nope. Because the Four of Cups is a card of a rejection. Okay, um, yeah, that's, uh, I don't think we need to do any additional uh, clarification or potential spreads between you and the King of Cups. It's a, it's, it's a no, it's a big no. Alright, Aquarius, so that's what I have for you for this reading. For this time period, if this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aquarius, have an amazing month.